Welcome to Progressive Automations. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect our PA14 mini linear actuator to our RC01 non-momentary rocker switch, as well as our AC03 12 volt battery. Uh, you may have noticed I've already added some connectors to the end of the actuator and to the end of the, the battery terminals. This is just to connect to the uh, rocker switch a lot easier. I have two wires going off the positive terminal, two wires going off the negative terminal. At the bottom of the rocker switch you will see six terminals. All six will be used. Now the easiest way to start is the middle two terminals are for the actuator. So those are the first two you can plug in. It doesn't matter which order it goes into as long as the middle two are used for the actuator. Now the top right bottom left are for the positive terminal so you can connect those two in and the remaining two are for negative so I'll plug those in as well now after everything's connected it might be a little hard for you to see but you can take a look the the red is the positive blue is negative so the middle two are for the rock for the actuator top right bottom left are positive bottom right, top left are negative. Once you have everything connected, you can take a look at the front of the rocker switch. Right now, it is at the off position. Still off. You can push it one way, it'll extend. Bring it back to the middle, it'll stop. And retract it, and it'll fully retract. Now, also note that there's internal limit switches in the actuator, so when it fully extends or fully retracts, you do not have the need to put it back to the off position as it will cut the power itself. If you have any more questions or you want to take a look at our wiring diagram, you can go to www.progressiveautomations.com or actuatorzone.com. You can email us at info at progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 1-800-676-6123.